honestly, I think Mother Nature has just been pissed over the summer. Okay, first things first, I'm the realist. <laughs> so, a couple of updates. I'm sorry, you guys, if I didn't make the car wash video. I'm really sorry. I'm still getting used to this whole YouTube thing. And also, I really don't want none of my classmates to find out because I'm still going through high school. And, yeah, I get to use it a lot. Also, I gave away all my books. Now, a lot of you might not know this, but I am a avid reader. That even as a kid, they used to call me Bookworm Sierra. I'm not a bookworm. I'm not. I, I'm just. I'm just not. I'm not a bookworm. I'm not. I'm very attractive. I watch a lot of TV, but ever since my mom had introduced me to the to this thing called the library, I've been obsessed with books ever since. And this past week, I gave away all of my old children's books. Every last one. Well, maybe not every last one, but I gave away pretty much all of my children's books because I'm going through that process of going through all my stuff for college. Which am I going to keep? Which am I going to give away? But yeah, and also on that day, I also went on a little bit of a book haul and I kind of got a little upset. So I kind of wanted to share what I got with you guys. It's Sierra's book haul. Some girls do clothing hauls and makeup hauls. I do book hauls because I'm awesome and I'm an effing queen. Okay, so the first book I got is After the Rain by Karen White. It is a New York Times bestseller. It is about a girl named Susan, if you guys can see it. It's about a girl named Susan who basically she is um, a very freelance, she's a freelance photographer and she doesn't like to stay in one place and so she goes, she ends up in this one place in Georgia and everybody's trying to make her feel welcome but then she doesn't want to stay or anything she really doesn't want to also it is also apparent that someone is actually chasing her I think I honestly think that she's probably she's probably like in the witness protection or something like that so yeah the next one I got is the secret life of Prince Charming you know once it said the words Prince Charming on it I had to get it because I'm totally obsessed with fairy tales I'm just I'm obsessed that's why I love Disney so much and it is about a woman named Quinn who had been around broken hearted women all the time and she finds out that her father is the one that is doing it. It is by Dave Catelli and I'm just really excited to read it. So yeah. The next one I got is a very interesting book. It's called Chasing Cezanne by Peter Millet, Maleo, Peter Maleo. And it's basically about a clever art scan that's going on and a really handsome photographer who stole the artwork and they travel through all these different places with paintings and food and restaurants and everything in order to in order to in order to succeed and i'm just i'm really excited to read this book and plus it's got i really like culture and all that kind of stuff i love i want to travel like i said i really want to go to london and all those other places so i'm really excited to read this the next one I got is Savannah Blues, and it is by Mary Kay Andrews. And this one was really interesting to me because a landing a catch in Te get the Nine J Evans the third and Eloise Weezy Folly, a jewel of a town of a townhouse in Savannah's historic district. Divorcing Tao got her exiled to the backyard carriage house where she has launched a spite fest with Tao's new fiance the elegant Carolyn de Santos an antique picker wheezy, wheezy combs Savannah's steamy black back alleys and garbage sales for treasures when she's not dealing with her loopy relatives or her hunky ex-boyfriend but an unauthorized sneak preview and sales lands wheezy smack in the middle of a magnolia scented murder mayhem and more dirty deals simmer all around her just as her relationship with her chef, with the hottest chef in town, heats up, and she finds out how delicious love can be for the second time. So basically, it's kind of like a mystery slash romance novel. I'm very into mysteries. I love watching stuff like Scooby Doo and Dateline and 2020. So yeah, I probably should have put that in my TMI tag. I forgot. Oh well. The next book I got is Word the World in Half, which is by Christana Henrys Henry Henry Quiz. See that? I don't know how to pronounce this. Um. Basically about a girl who doesn't have the best relationship with her father and she's trying to, you know, more or less figure him out. I'm really excited to read this one because I can kind of relate. I don't have the best relationship with my daddy. So yeah. Okay, here's one that I got. A couple. Here's one I got. It's a book that talks about, basically it talks about the sassy girl's guide to picking up hot guys. 
and it's called Screw Cupid. When I first saw the title of this book, I just said, I have to get this. And um, it'll probably teach me how to photo guys because as you all know, I'm very shy when it comes to guys. Hey, that rhymed. The next one I got is actually, actually had a copy of this book. I actually had a co copy of this book, but it got stolen, uh, which kind of makes me question who wants to steal a book. But it is Alex Storm, um, Alex Ryder Stormbreaker. It's one of my favorite books. And it's also a movie, one of my favorite movies. I love the movie to, that goes to this book. And it's basically about a boy named Alex, a year old boy named Alex in Britain, in England, who um, his uncle just ha sadly passed away, and he has to fill in his shoes on this operation with this guy who's trying to blow up all the schools, and it's just awesome. And if you guys haven't seen the movie or read the book, I would make a win both because it's just really awesome. It's an entire series that goes along with it, so make sure you check it out. The next one I got is another another book by a from a, it's also a movie, The Secret Life of Bees. Oh my gosh, I wanted to read this book so bad when I saw the movie, and I just love it. And plus, I love the movie. You gotta go check that movie out. That movie is awesome. But yeah, it's The Secret Life of Bees. It's by Sue Mon Kid, and and it's the author of The Mermaid Chair. I can't wait to read it. I just can't wait. The next one I got is a little bit um a more toward my age group. It is called Prom Dates from Hell. See? Prom Dates from Hell, and it's basically about a girl named Quinn who's going through her senior year of high school and having to deal with prom and everything, and she's not too keen on that, and her problem is apparently there's like this weird conspiracy thing that's going on with the supernatural and the devil and everything, and she's trying to figure it out before her entire school like goes literally down to hell. And this one I didn't actually get from the store, I got this on Amazon, but I kind of want to share it with you guys. I, I'm also really into old school comic books, so I got this, it is The Many Faces of Snoopy is a ginormous comic book of all the Snoopy adventures and comic books. I really love this book, and it's actually sectioned off in the book of which ones you know which so you got um him as cool um cool joe you got him as flying ace you got him as scout leaders you got him as a lawyer as a lawyer and the rest of these are just there so yeah i'm really excited to read so you actually got him at a writer and it's i'm really excited and that's it for all the books i got i'm hoping to do a couple more book adventures which book adventures and then filming them because like i said i am a very avid reader and i do like to read so yeah, so like this video and share it, uh, uh, and share it, and share it, uh, uh, and share it, oh yeah. Also, um, we are currently one more week away from the IM5 concert. I am so excited. Oh my gosh, like, you don't guys don't know how ecstatic I am about this concert. I'm hoping to marry all five of them, because they're all just so freaking gorgeous, especially Dana. Especially Dana, and I'm so excited. I hope they do Disney dudes. I'm hope I'm um, I'm hoping that's just gonna be a wish fulfillment for me. And also, we're having another car wash for our school, and I will be filming that one. I promise you, I will. And when I promise something, I never break that promise. What up, Tango? The reference. But yeah, that's it. I love. Thank you guys for watching this video. Like this video and share it. Uh uh and share it. Oh yeah and share it. Uh uh and share it. Oh yeah. I love you guys with peace. And pizza. Bye.